definitely. Mr. Chair and council members, we are now live. Thank you and good morning, everybody. And welcome to the Committee on Public Property and Public Works. I understand that the state law currently requires that the following announcement be made at the beginning of every remote public hearing as follows. Due to the current public health emergency, city council committees are currently meeting remotely. We are using Microsoft Teams to make these remote hearings possible. Instructions for how the public may view and other public testimony at public hearings of city council committees are included in the public hearing notices that are published in the Daily News, the Inquirer, and the Legal Intelligencer prior to the hearings and can also be found on philacouncil.com. I know that the hour has come. Mr. Brazell, would you please call the roll and take attendance for members? I want to remind you that if when you say present, you can please state your name and say your brief words for when responding so that your image is displayed on the screen as you speak. Mr. Brazell. Uh, Council member Mark Squilla. Present, good morning, everyone. Council member Jamie Gautier. Present, good morning, Mr. Chair. Good morning, everyone. Council member Gim. Council member David O. Council member Alan Dom. Good morning, chairman and colleagues and the public. All right. Council member Curtis Jones Jr. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, viewing public. And how about Tom Brady? And council member Bobby Heenan. Good morning, everybody. Uh, to all my colleagues, good morning. Happy post Super Bowl day. Uh, I want to thank you for joining in the hearing today. A quorum of the committee is present, and this hearing is now called to order. Uh, this is a public hearing of the Committee of Public Works and Public Property regarding Bill Number 200656. Mr. Brazell, would you please read the title of the bill, please? Bill number 200656, authorizing the commissioner on public property on behalf of the city to acquire fee simple title or a lesser interest in real estate by purpose, by purchase, dedication, donation, condonation, agreement in lieu of condonation or otherwise in parcels of land along the Schuylkill River and the Wissahickon Creek for public recreational purposes under certain terms and conditions. Thank you. Before we begin to hear testimony from the witness uh, that we have for today, everyone has been invited to the meeting to testify. Should you be, I want everybody to be aware that this is a public hearing and it is being recorded. Because the hearing is public, participants and viewers have no reasonable expectation of privacy. By continuing to be in this meeting, you are consenting to being recorded. Additionally, prior to recognizing members for questions or comments they have for the witnesses. I will note for the record at this time that we will use the chat feature available in the Microsoft Teams to allow members to signify that they to signify that they would like to be recognized. In order to comply with the Sunshine Act, the chat feature must only be used for this purpose. Before we call our first witness to bill number 200656, uh, would any of my colleagues like to make any opening remarks? I'm going to recognize Council Member Jones, who is the sponsor of this legislation. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to uh, thank the City of Philadelphia uh, for pursuing uh, the acquisition of this particular property. To give context, this is probably the last piece of uh, land that will be required to um, complete the trail um, that uh, many uh, Philadelphians and non-Philadelphians enjoy 
that extends from Valley Forge all the way down to the Heinz um, a Preserve. It is a part of Philadelphia now that allows bikers, runners, walkers to enjoy uh, the trail along the Schuylkill River um, in a way uh, that allows them not to, in my district, in the fourth district, come out onto um, the um, Ridge Avenue in order to reconnect to the trail at another part. So this acquisition is the final linchpin uh, in the continuation of that trail. This has been a project that I believe extends all the way back to the street administration. And each mayor has, um, and you'll appreciate this, a member Gaudier because of your prior um, involvement uh, but um, it, it extends all the way back to that administration to try to help um, have a contiguous piece of land that allows that kind of recreational pursuit. So I'm excited uh, to be um, at this hearing, uh, at this final stage, and I want to thank all of the stakeholders. Um, going back to the street administration and some of the um, advocates in my district, that have fought so very hard uh, to make this a reality. So thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Council Member. Um, I too understand how important pieces of legislation uh, like you're proposing here today in front of the committee, how important it is for the community and being a connector. We have our greenery and uh, open air space and trails uh, that, that connect neighborhoods and connect the East Coast greenery that is uh, uh, taking place right now. I know council member uh, Mark Squilla and myself have a little competition. We border the Delaware River and split the city in half. And uh, we always have a little friendly competition and who's gonna get our trails uh, open and complete first. So uh, I think it's a, a vital access to show who we are as a city and welcome everybody. Any other members have any uh, comments, you know, before we go to our first person to testify. Well, thank you, Mr. Prezel. Uh, would you please call our first witness, please? Robert Armstrong. Good morning, Chair Member Heenan and members of the Committee on Public Property and Public Works. My name is Robert Armstrong and I'm the Trails and Transportation Manager for the Office of Transportation Infrastructure and Sustainability, OTIS. I appear before you today on behalf of the administration to support bill number 200656, which was introduced by council member Jones. This bill allows the city of Philadelphia to acquire right of way land for the purposes of connecting and extending city parklands, a project that includes construction of the Wissick and Gateway segment of the Schuylkill River Trail and accompanying park amenities. Upon completion of construction, the right of way will be operated and maintained by Philadelphia Parks and Recreation. The proposed right of way runs between the Wissick and Creek to the east, the Schuylkill River to the south, the Pencoid Bridge to the west, and Ridge Avenue and Main Street to the north. The proposed right of way is also part of the larger circuit trail system in the Philadelphia region, as well as a key link in the multi county Schuylkill River Trail. Otis and the Department of Parks and Recreation support this measure, and accordingly, I respectfully re request that City Council approve Bill number 200656. I'm also requesting a suspension of the rules so as to allow for first reading at the next section of council. Thank you, and I would be glad to answer any questions you might have. Thank you, Mr. Armstrong, and thank you for the work that you're doing for all our trails and connectors in the city of Philadelphia. Does any uh, members of uh, council wish to be recognized? Mr. Chairman, it's Alan Dom. I, I have a question. Council Member Dom? Thank you, Mr. Yep. Chair. Um, I just have a question. Is this being acquired? Uh, are we paying money for it? And how is that How is that being determined? How much we're paying for it if we are paying money? Well, if we are going to be paying money, council member, we would be getting an appraisal for that. Any, idea, that what, any idea what that cost may be? I don't at this time, no. Any any parameters? Is it under 500000 under 100000 or? Well, the, the, there's three parcels, and um, we believe that some of the uh, parcels, the owners of the parcels are SEPTA. One is SEPTA and the other is Penn Realty. We've been working with them for quite some time. 
Um, I don't. I do not believe that those parcels will um, cost upwards of the amount that you're you're uh, stating there. Uh, there is another parcel. We do have to have that appraised. We are going to use the penned up process to appraise that so that um, when we acquire it, we are following all federal highways and PennDOT um, regulations because of the uh, seeking the federal funding for this project um, after. This is the initial stage of this project. It has been in planning for several decades as Councilmember Jones mentioned. However, um, we're not ready to discuss the the parameters of the purchase because we needed to get the, the bill uh, passed first to allow us to acquire the land. Um, we are seeking funding for design as well. And in the future, we will seek funds for construction. Um, and I'd be happy to share you know anything with you in the future as we go through the acquisition process, but we're not quite there yet. Is there any other usage for this land other than what we want to use it for? The land um, is actually going to be going uh, right along the bank of the Schuylkill River, and it will be within the 50 foot setback. Um, so it is not, you know, really not developable land at all. So if, how do they even determine a value? They should give it to us for free. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, think about it. There's no other use. What's the value? I, I'm not an appraiser, so, right. sorry, council member. I'd like to just, if, if you want me to be of help to you, I'm happy to do that. I have some knowledge in that area. So uh, feel free to call upon me afterwards if you like. Okay, thank you very much, Council Member. Thanks, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Council Member. Are there any other questions or comments from members of the committee? Yeah, um, Mr. Chairman, if I may. Um, one of the things that has been proven during the pandemic is that outdoor space is at a premium. To be able to enjoy exercise, outdoors, fresh air, um, has only been underscored during this health crisis. So to be able to, um, in a safe manner, enjoy uh, walking and exercising, it is, it is just priceless. And so um, we um, started a bike tour with members of council. I'd love to have part two um, go through this portion of town. Um, and then I wanna, because of my neighbor to the south uh, in the third district, put together something for the spring to look at uh, a bike tour that might go through the western end of the fourth into the western end of the third. And, and to start to just explore how these kinds of improvements public improvements can make um, Philadelphia and its parklands more attractive. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Council, uh, council Member. Um, if anyone else on the committee have any questions? Mr. Chair. Yes, um, Council Member, go to you. Um, first, I wanted to agree with Councilmember Jones that in this time of the pandemic, um, we've seen that outside spaces, outside is one of the safest places that you can be. And so it's a good time for us as a city to be making um, investments in, in our green spaces um, so that people can get out and recreate and, and have respite. Um, I wanted to hear a little bit more about um, the, the scale of the project once you acquire the property. Um, how much do we think the project, uh, the trail will cost to complete or that portion of it? And how long do we think the work will take? Well, we put in, um, thank, thank you for that council member. Um, we put in for a grant application to the Regional Trails Committee of, of Delaware Valley Regional Planning Commission. Um, we hope to hear for that, that's for design, um, and that was for 300,000. We're estimating that this is between a three and $4 million project. That's mainly because of a bridge that we're gonna be building over the Wissahickon Creek between the um, trail that comes along Kelly Drive and the parking lot um, across the street from the entrance to the Wissahickon Valley Park on Ridge. Um, that, that is going to have to go through um, lengthy permitting reviews and the like um, because it is a new, would be a new structure over the creek. Um, the timing on that, if we get the funding for design, we would start design right away while we're acquiring this. I mean, I'm once, um, you know, if this bill passes successfully and the mayor signs it, 
that would allow the department to start to begin to the work to acquire it and we'll work with the law department. So there's that piece. If I get the design piece, that can start this year. Um, I would think the design would take roughly up to two years because of the complications with the bridge. Um, that's always takes longer to get those types of structures. Um, and then if we got successfully uh, funding for the project, which is upwards three to five million, um, we could be in construction in, I would say, two to three years um, and with the completion of around five years. That's that's conservative, um, basically, you know, knowing that um, there are challenges, you know, especially during this time period with funding, um, but also hoping to tee it up for possible federal funding, um, which we're designing it to federal standards and acquiring it to federal standards for that very purpose. I hope that answered your question. No, thank you so much. It sounds like a great project. And um, Member Jones, I missed the last bike tour, so I would certainly look forward to the next one. Thank you, to uh, Mr. Armstrong, just to expand on, on some of the question real quick, because I, as you know, we work together uh, yeah. diligently and, and for you know such a long time, and it's gonna continue you know, to patch and, and you know, uh, fill the gaps, all right, that still need to be approved when connecting all our trails and, and our systems in the city. Um, we are, you are assembling three parcels. What is the, what is the length of those, of those parcels? <clears throat> and would you, for the bridge, need DEP approval? Uh, and if you do, or are you seeking that approval concurrently as you're going through the design phase? Um, the length of the parcel, the length of the full trail from the Wissahickon Creek to the Pencoy Bridge would be about, um, you know, a about 0.3 miles. It's it, it's called a gap for a reason. It's not, we're not really calling it a trail project because it is a trail project, but it's also a gap uh, in the trail network. So it's not, it's more complicated than uh, just a straight linear trail project in some ways because of the uh, bridge. Um, yes, we will have to seek all approvals for environmental clearance. Of course, building a bridge over, over the creek, right at the mouth of the creek. Um, and we would be doing that during design. So part of the design process and part of the price tag for design including includes having our design professional engineering firm uh, obtain all the permits so that we get, can get into construction. That's great. I just wanted you to uh, explain how uh, complicated some of these, uh, you know, pieces can be when you're filling the gaps and when you're seeking approvals. Kind of, kind of, you know, it, it kind of goes with the, uh, you know, the time and the length of uh, of completion. Once once we get approval of uh, something like, you know, the legislation that's before us today, because you need to you need the parcel, you need to fill the gap. Uh, before we can, you know, continue to on with our our systems. So, I, I thank you for that. You're welcome. Any any other members? Mr. Mr. Chair, it's Alan Donnelly, and I have another comment I want to make. Council Member Don, you're up. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I just wanted to say I'm in favor of doing this, and I agree with Councilman Jones and Councilmember Gautier that these types of amenities are very important for cities like Philadelphia, especially to recover from the pandemic. That's what's gonna make us different. And the more we can do like this, the better. My only concern, and I'm gonna vote for this, my only concern is I've seen some of the things we've done as a city in the past with, with purchases of different real estate that have gotten out of control from a cost standpoint. And I just wanna make sure that we are on target here and we're on track and we do it the right way. That's my only concern. So uh, I think this is great and I'm in favor of it. And I think we should do more because that's that's our point of difference, creating environments for, for our residents like this. So thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Council Member Jones. Thank you, Council Member. And you've been consistent with appraisals and, and information requested at every, every public works and public property hearing and finance hearing. So, uh, you know, we thank you for that. We thank you for uh, the two appraisal legislation that is required from the city as a result of those questions. And so this is what makes Philadelphia great and our you know county body uh, just as great. So we appreciate that. Well, if there are no further questions from members of this council, 
Um, there are <clears throat> committees and witnesses that, that have testified all this. If there's anyone else here in the hearing whose name I have failed to call and that wishes to offer testimony on the bill that is in front of us here today. Hearing none, I want to thank all the panels and witnesses for their participation. I want to thank this body and members for your questioning. Um, we value your opinions and now I invite all panels and witnesses to please disconnect from the meeting before we go into our public meeting. Um, we will now pause the proceedings briefly so the participants have the opportunity uh, to leave our hearing. This concludes the public property, uh, the hearing of the Committee of Public Property, and we will now go into our public meeting to consider the action to being taken on the bill that's before this committee here today. Um, I will convene the meeting. Mr. Brazell, will you please call the roll and take attendance so that members in attendance will please indicate that you are present uh, when your name is called also please Again, as always, say brief words and, and response so that your image will display on the screen when speak. Uh, Mr. Brazell. Uh, Council Member Mark Squilla. Good morning. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman and, and colleagues and uh, Council Member Jones for this introduction. I think it's very important for the city. Uh, so I'm um, happy to be here and present. Council Member Jamie Gauthier. Present. Good morning. <clears throat> Council Member Helen Gim. Council Member David O. Council Member Alan Dom. Good morning, present. Council Member Curtis Jones Jr. Good morning, present. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of this committee. All right, and uh, Council Member Bobby Heenan. Councilman Heating is present. Uh, thank you. Appreciate uh, our technical support here. Uh, we will now go into our public meeting. Uh, the chair recognizes Council Member Squillis for a motion on Bill Number Two Zero Zero Six Five Six. On mute. Council, Council, Council Member Squillis. Uh, unmute yourself and, and start over on the motion. Thank, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Apologize. I move the bill number two. Oh, zero, zero. Two, zero, zero, six. What was it? Six, five, six. Six, five, six, Mr. Chairman. That's uh, two, zero, zero, six, five, six. Yes. I'm sorry, I move the bill number 200656 uh, be approved with suspension of rules. Be ready next session of council. Second. <laughs> it has been moved and properly second that bill number 200656 be reported from this committee with a favorable recommendation and further move that the council of the rules be suspended to permit the first reading of this bill at our next session of council. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Uh, oppose the motion carries i want to thank you all i want to thank everybody who participated in this meeting today uh, this concludes the business in front of the public the committee of public property and public works thank you all again have a safe happy and healthy day thank you mr chairman thank you thank you bye